All right, what is up, friends? You're listening to Brain Buff, the podcast by Ben. And today we have my friend, uh, Galen, Galen Lam. Hey, hi, Galen. Hey, hi, Benedict. Hey, thanks hey. for having me in this show. Yeah, no problem, no problem. How are you? How are you today? Wow, I'm feeling very great, very energized, motivated, and excited to be on this podcast with yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe before we start, we can share with the listeners how how did we actually meet each other. So we met at a life coaching course, right? Mm, yeah, actually yeah. we met in the life coaching course under one of the coaching institute. It was like very strange uh, because I noticed that you came in later part Yeah, yeah in, in the coaching session and didn't get to know you earlier on. But after mm. that, when you started to come in, then I reached out to you and say hi and then do coaching yeah then we come <laughs> and now we are on the podcast together <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very interesting uh, very funny like like you're the last one to know yeah you? <laughs> yeah it's it's been an interesting journey so far i would say ever since our first uh call together where we did the chemistry session yeah uh, straight straight away i think we got along very well and then we realized that mm. we, we have a good uh energy la, together yeah definitely man <laughs> yeah yeah nice nice so how how has the coaching journey been so far for you wow i would say it's very exciting okay the reason is because it helps me to shift my thinking like being in my corporate years right for so long right i always have the mindset of not able to push myself forward to do something that is beyond my comfort zone during at that time. So how coaching has shifted my mindset is it helps me to make me become a better version of myself. Mm. I would say in terms of how I listen to people, how I communicate with people, and also how I push myself to take massive actions and also make me realize that to really help me to fulfill the goal that I want to achieve in my life. Because during that 15 years of my corporate life, I have no goals, no directions, nothing. I don't know where I'm heading at. It was only through coaching, right? It helps me to do some self-reflection on my own and make me think through what is my life purpose. Because as you know, life is so short, right? Like we have certain time frame on earth and it is good to really do some meaningful kind of career or something that you are passionate about so that you live life on the fullest lah, i would say so this is a amazing journey i also find a lot of benefits after learning coaching on my own like i become a better listener instead of having a judgmental kind of bias, the views, right? Because as you know, as human beings, right, we always have the tendency to be have our own bias, but yeah. always giving solutions, advice, right? So that kind of shift in me through coaching has really benefited me and also able to improve on my relationship with people. How wow. about you, Benedict? Yeah, I would say same here. Um, life coaching has opened my eyes to uh, what it means to really be an active listener. Mm. Yeah. So all the while, I've always thought that I'm a good listener. Ah. Because okay. when I talk to my friends, you know, usually I'm doing most of the listening, uh, similar to you. Ah. Yeah. But only when I went through this coaching course and they really talk about what is active listening. Mm. Um. That's when I start to become more mindful of what's going on in my own head as I'm listening. Mm. Yeah. And then I realized that a lot of times when I listen to friends, um, I tend to have my own opinions, even though I'm just listening also. Uh. And I'm only realizing this more and more um, as I'm taking this coaching journey. Uh. Mm. Yeah, and I'm realizing that it's actually not easy. It's like I'm starting to see a very judgmental side of myself the more mm. I learn about what active listening is. I yeah, see. and what's beautiful about it is that um, 
there's a humility in mm. uh, ac- active listening also. Mm. Yeah. It's like I'm saying that, you know, I really um I really don't know and I don't want to to assume that I know what's going on in your life and things like mm. that. You know, I'm here to learn, teach me, teach me what's mm. going on. Yeah. I see. So it's like more connected as a human. Yeah. More yeah. connected with the person. Yeah. And you're listening with with some amount of respect for the person also, regardless whether this person is younger than you, older than you. Mm. You know, that's what I really love about it. And I tend to agree on this because as you know, when we coach different type of people, right? Sometimes a lot of people will say, hey, if I'm successful than you, right? Are you able to coach me or not? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the kind of the kind of the kind of thinking, right? These yeah. are the old beliefs that people think. Actually, you don't need to be a subject matter expert if yeah. you want to coach a person that is more successful than you. It's like mm. about asking the right question at the right time. Correct. That matters. Correct. Yeah. yeah. That Speaking matters. of asking the right question at the right time, I think a lot of our listeners, they don't even know what is life coaching. Mm. So I think they've heard the word life coaching before and they have some idea of what life coaching is. But mm. now that we've gone through and we've had some practice, right? And we also mm. study um, the theory. Yeah. So how, how will you explain to our listener actually what is life coaching? Mm. Maybe a very variety of topics Sometimes it's all about relationship. Sometimes it's about stress management, priority management. It can be like everything that is related to your life. Mm. Yeah. Something that affects how you progress in life or even, uh, but most of the common topics that I came across right, when I coach people is more dealing with relationship. Yeah, that is a very huge topic about it. Sometimes about stress management, priority management, a bit of career as well, personal development. Yeah, all mm-hmm. these things are a very popular coaching topics across. So learning this life coaching, right? It helps me to open up my view of getting to know a lot of experience that people are facing in their lives. You can get to know more people of what they've been through. And also gain the experience. Sometimes when they talk about certain topics, about certain things, right? Like life coaching, you will tend to say, wow, this is something new to me. It's like, yeah, we maybe I haven't experienced this before, but it's something that is interesting. And maybe I should go and reflect, oh, if I happen to face this issue, will I be able to coach myself to resolve that, that thing, right? So it's very interesting. It's a huge topic, I would say. Yeah, yeah. I was just uh, looking up some definitions. Uh, defines coaching as uh, partnering with clients in a thought-provoking and creative process that inspires mm. them to maximize their personal and professional potential. Mm. Yeah, so I think that really encapsulates uh, what you've just shared la, about the different areas that people mm. can get life coaching yeah. in so yeah yeah it's it's very much a partnership between the coach and the client yeah. right mm, helping right. each other and mostly the coach helping the client right in a client-centered mm. way yeah. yeah and speaking about this life coaching right i believe that a lot of people they might not know what is actually coaching is about yeah sometimes they just have a misconception of maybe hey, is it like hiring a type of health coach keep them motivated to train more to train hard it's like telling you what to do all right so a lot of people have this misconception they often uh, mix up with um, consulting coaching mentoring but all these are actually very very different thing if you ask me because coaching to me doesn't matter it's life coaching or career coaching or personal coaching it's more like a self-discovery it's like uh, helping the clients to raise their self-awareness mm. uh, sometimes they have a goal that they want to meet but because they have some limiting beliefs that is holding them back so they are not really themselves and we as a coach we come in uh, through life coaching we are able to coach them to explore what are your beliefs your values is thinking about this topic 
and what is stopping you from moving towards reaching your goal. Life coaching is about helping them to move from where they are now to where they want to be. And that is important because if you have certain thoughts in your mind and you are not able to unpack through coaching, right? You will tend to get stuck and procrastinate. Then you keep on delaying, delaying. Then as you realize that like years go by, hey, how come I'm not fulfilling doing something that I love to do, correct? Yeah. yeah. So I see the benefits of coaching in the element. Yeah. What I think is the beautiful thing about coaching is that, for example, if I talk to a mentor, the mentor will tell me what I need to do. The mentor will tell me what I need to do to get from A to B, uh, how to think, what kind of mindset I need to have. Mm. But coaching is different, right? Because through coaching, the coach will help the client to discover what is it that's important to them, what's true to them. Mm. Uh, they are the ones ultimately who get to decide what is their truth, mm. so to speak. Yeah. 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 Basically, the client has their answer yes. themselves. They already know what yeah. they, they just cannot see. It. Yes. You see, because there's been too many things that is blocking their views of seeing that they can move on. So yeah. as a coach, we come in to really help them to unpack their thoughts. Yeah. To remove all the blurry uncertainty, limiting beliefs, right? So that they can move on. Yeah, maybe they will say, yeah, maybe I shouldn't think this way. Yeah, maybe there's a, something, a new perspective of doing that thing to help me achieve my goal. Very beautiful when you able to coach someone to really have their realization. Correct. You know, that kind of thing, which yeah. is very important. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a thought-provoking and creative process. Mm. Yeah. So what is, what, what, what is thought-provoking and what is creative about life coaching? Uh, <laughs> wow, that's a very... Am I throwing out the hard, the hard question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'll try to answer that in the okay. simplest way. Thought-provoking is like... Okay, sometimes when the client, right, they have certain beliefs, they have certain values, they have certain kind of thinking... Mm. that is holding them back. For example, common thinking that they have is the, they may want to leave to other people's expectations. Yeah, this is very common. Mm. They also care about what people think about them. Mm. You see? Yeah, so these are the something that is stopping them from moving forward. During this thought-provoking process, right, the coach can come in to challenge their thinking. Mm. Why are you thinking this way? What's behind their thought? The kind yeah. of thing that we can ask during uh, a coaching conversation that maybe the client will realize that, yeah, maybe I shouldn't think this way. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't care about what people think of me. Mm. So it's like challenging the assumptions that they have. Yeah, yeah. So to me, I think this is my simplest form of answering what is thought-provoking. Yeah. yeah. So for creative, right, it's something new. Yeah. Yeah, helping them to land onto a new perspective. Uh, yeah. A new like way of seeing things. New way of seeing things. Yeah. New way of thinking. Yeah. It's like an aha moment. <laughs> yeah. I would say. Yeah. yeah. Forming new uh perspectives or a shift in the in the perspective. Mm, yeah. A shift in their thinking. I think that's important because once they realize there's a shift right, in their thinking, they will tend to, maybe they will just change their behaviors. Yeah. Change their behaviors of doing things, changing their old habits. Yeah. 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 So it's like moving on to, to try out new things, stepping yeah. out of their comfort zone, mm. all these things. And what's great is that when we are life coaching, I think you also can speak on this, is that when we help a client to find that aha moment, mm. you can really see a change in their energy. Suddenly, their yeah. body language is different. <laughs> yeah. right? Suddenly, they feel so inspired. That's why the definition is inspiring them, inspiring them to unlock their potential. Right? Yeah. 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 It's so very when, amazing. 
Yeah. And so when it comes from the client himself or them or herself, then it's more real for them as opposed to I'm just telling you, okay, you need to do A, B, C because I know better than you. Then the client also, oh, okay. Yeah. Right? There's a yeah. difference there. It's like a teaching them what to do, which, which doesn't serve any purpose sometimes because sometimes when you teach them what to do, they may not like it on their own because it's their own belief, man. Mm. Right? their own values. Even if they listen to you, they do it right, they may not get the outcome that they want. Yes. Because it's not them. Correct. This is like, I'm telling you what to do, but you may not like it. Yeah. So I will prefer, I coach you as a person. You tell me what you need to do. Mm. And that is more ideal, right? Because you decide what you need to do. You decide your future. Yeah. You decide your life. Yeah. You decide what type of actions that you want to take on. And that is the beauty of it as compared to other aspects like um, teaching, mentoring. But of course, every aspect has their own advantage yes. and disadvantage. Yeah. But to me, if you ask me, how do I really influence a person to take action? I would still believe that coaching will be the right aspect. Yeah, to do that. Correct, correct. Yeah, they all have their own place and time, their own benefits uh, for what you want to achieve. Lah, mm. Right? So, for example, like a Olympic athlete, it would be good to have a coach who, you know, took part in the Olympics. So, this coach mm. really can guide every step of the way. Yeah. Whereas life coaching is like a, going through that partnering process uh, to help the client to find their own inner shift, their own change in perspective. And so when it's from within them, the motivation is different. They feel like a new person all of a sudden. Mm. And this is actually really the life-changing part, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's like a shift in their identity. Yeah. Mm. And then the follow-up of that would be making sure that they have some action Mm. to see the results also. Yeah. Putting yeah. them the urgency to really see whether they are doing certain things in a certain time frame. Yeah. Because sometimes, as you know, right, humans, when they don't have that accountability, the support, the timeline, right, yeah. to do certain things, right, then they will tend to just procrastinate. Oh, let's do it next day. Let's do it next year. You know, like I always... Uh, see people have their own new year resolution, right? Every year I want to, maybe I want to lose weight. I want to lose certain kilo, but there's no one holding them accountable. Then it's very hard, right? Sometimes it takes a lot of effort, you know, like it's like to, for them to really realize to stay within that discipline, uh, to make sure that they achieve their goal. It's not easy one. What I see the benefits coaching is like um, having a support partner, you say, hey, give me some check-in on, on your clients. Hey, whether uh, have you done something already? Yeah. Or if not, then what's holding you back again? And then there is some coaching element going on, the process, like, or maybe to discover whether you have certain obstacles that you face in life. Or maybe there's another thought of limiting belief that you have. Then me as a coach will come in to help you to unpack your thoughts. What are you thinking? What's stopping you? Again, yeah, see, yeah. yeah. So, from our short experience so far of uh, life coaching, I'm sure that you've already had a lot of, um, you've already seen a lot of big changes around you, maybe in the people mm. that you coach or even yourself. Mm. Uh, what what are some of those those big inspiring uh, breakthroughs that you've been able to see your clients or or anyone around you? Uh, experience in their life through coaching? Maybe I just share an example of myself and my clients as well. For me, I personally being coached. So during the coaching process, right, I realized that when we are too close to our problems, we tend to have certain bias towards it. We are not able to really think deep enough What's behind that thought? And through coaching, right? Being coached by someone, there will be a lot of new perspective 
new creative ideas. They call it the aha moment mm -hmm. that really shift my thinking and provoke my previous thought of, yeah, maybe I should do something different. Mm. Because sometimes when we do something, right, we need to have that self-awareness of what I need to change on my own. If let's say, if you are not able to change the external environment, mm -hmm. you see, it's like, okay, I'll give you an example. It's like when there is an event being triggered to you. As a person, right, you can choose to respond instead of react. Because most people, they tend to react first. So they normally get their emotions controlling over them. Like for example, you are stuck in a traffic jam. You can choose to respond. Oh, maybe I should listen to some nice music instead of cursing and swear, right? <laughs> like, hey, how come jam like that, right? So it's like a way of shifting the thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like what you can do differently. Yeah. Instead of just seeing that problem, that event happening, and you just react to it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, wow, yeah. feeling very down, very morale, very low, disappointed. That is your emotions because yeah. you are reacting to that event. But in coaching, right, when, when I was being coached, right, it helped me to shift by thinking, maybe I shouldn't feel disappointed at all. Mm. Because in life, I can choose to be happy or sad. It's a matter of choice when you wake up in the morning. Correct? Like how you want to plan your day, how to want to start your day. Then for my client side, I tend to observe their shift in their behaviors, their body gesture, the facial expression. Mm. When I coach them in the earlier conversation, it's like they'll be feeling very down, very unmotivated. Yeah. All these are things that happen in a coaching conversation. But it's normal because as human beings, we tend to share our stories we tend to share our situation, what's happening in my life. So what I saw my clients shifted is when I asked them a lot of questions that they don't even ask themselves. Mm. And that is amazing because they even take a step back and think through, yeah, why did I ask myself this question? Why did I do that? Why didn't I do it in a different way? Why I'm still... Sticking back to the old way of thinking. Why? Because when you coach somebody, right, it's like more like um, uncovering the meaning behind that thought. That means like to discover their why. Why are they having this kind of thought that stop them from moving forward to reach their goal? So when I coach them, they will see a lot of shift in their mindset. Yeah. Then after they realize that maybe it's something new, something different that I never thought of doing it, maybe I can try. Yeah, then you start to see their facial expression changes. They become more happier, excited, and fulfilling as well. So this is something that I observe during the coaching conversation when it comes to coaching them. Yeah. What are some results that you've seen in your clients right? so i can give you an example um one that i think has been quite meaningful that i was able to to be to have the privilege of being the coach for this person mm. uh, was that this client didn't know how come they couldn't come up with any long-term plans like, what is mm. stopping them yeah, what is stopping them from coming up with long-term plans and, and choosing really where they want to go and what they want to do in the long term. Mm. So the deeper that we went in the conversation, the more that we talk about it and unpack everything, mm. then actually the clients start to realize that actually she has some fear deep down inside. Yeah, some fear about something that is even closer to her about the the short term also. Mm. Yeah. And she realized that she needs to face up to this fear and talk talk through it first and encounter what, what is it 
what is this thing that's still holding her back? Mm. So she realized that there was a, uh, all the while she thought she couldn't plan long term, but actually she realized that it's something that is closer, la, something that mm. she, yeah. And then from there, she had a clearer vision of what are some things that she need to work on now in this moment mm. in her life. Yeah. And so for me, as I was coaching her and, and throughout the process, there was a lot of pauses. A silence. Lot of silence. silence. Mm. Where you can see in her in, in their eyes that they are really wow. think, thinking. Wow. Know, their, their eyes really, they're really thinking very hard. Like, you know, mm. uh, what, what is this? And you can tell that it's pushing and pushing and pushing, pushing the, the envelope a little bit more. And she's having this realization. Yeah. Ah, it's it's like unpeeling the onions. Yeah. Layer by layer. Layer by layer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the whole time I'm sitting there and keeping quiet and watching her as she's thinking about it. Right. Mm-hmm. And also maybe along the way, just gently uh nudging or, or gently encouraging. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So from there, actually I felt um after the session, I just felt like, wow, I, I, I honestly, I, I didn't expect it mm. to, to turn out that good for the client. I'm happy wow. for her. All right. But deep down inside, I also feel like, wow, I was part of a, a, such a positive change in somebody's life. Yeah. yeah, yeah, correct. So it's that kind of feeling and satisfaction in you yeah. that you cannot experience in somewhere else. Yeah. yeah, which is very meaningful when you see mm-hmm. somebody's lives transform and you are the one who's helping them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Another form of result that I was talking about is that actually this podcast would not have been possible if mm. I didn't go and see a life coach a long, long time, maybe one or two years ago. Ah, Yeah, actually it's through the conversation that I started to realize that hey, you know, I should prioritize myself a bit more and there are certain things that are kind of on my bucket list that I never got to uh, really go and try. Uh-huh. And podcast was one of the ideas that was always floating around. Uh, wow, interesting. Uh, always lingering. Yeah, until I decided, okay, I really need to go and <laughs> make it happen. Yeah. Wow, that means you're a real-life example, right? <laughs> yeah. Take action, who take action to come up with this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I want to acknowledge you also, you know. Uh I feel that when I talk to you, I can feel the energy mm, and I it do. rubs off on me also. Yeah. It makes me want to continue to be motivated and continue to work hard on my coaching and my podcast and everything. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Happy yeah. to help. All right. What else do you want to say to our listeners? Maybe I just share something valuable for the listeners sometimes when you really want to do certain things in life right just take your first step Mm. to make that change because i would say life is too short to keep on wondering what could have been right and if you really want to see changes in your life just make a change in you willing to take the first step to try on coaching so that you will eventually understand how does coaching benefit you as a person. Then you're able to see a lot of transformation along the way. Yeah, because ultimately coaching is not like an overnight success thing. It takes a few sessions to really slowly unpack, understand yourself better, to change the way of how you think, how you feel, and how you act. And that produces a change in results and achieving your goal. My take is just, just don't worry about it. Step forward. Make the first change in yourself. Because when you look back, you realize that your decision is the best decision that you have ever made in your life. Yeah. Yeah, so true. So true. I think many a times we get uh very caught up because we keep thinking, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. 
but we don't really do because it's, it's just thoughts. And then after a while, it feels very daunting mm. because I've been procrastinating. I've been putting it off for a long time. Mm. And then when I think about what I need to do is, wow, it's so much and I don't know how to get started. And mm. there's so many, so much resistance, you know, imposter syndrome. Yeah, all, all kinds of. All kinds of. Behaviors, so, thinking. Yeah, mm. so you're right, you know, just take the first step and after that then it's easier to take the second step just keep going mm. one one step at a time yes and yeah. because if you really want to see yourself changing right in your life you need to take the first step and once you see the results right you keep repeating doing that steps mm. because transformation is all about repetition the more you do the better you are the more you change, the better you are. We cannot be always stagnant forever, right? Stuck there, don't know what to do. So you have to take a first step to change. Yeah. And once you see some results, hey, that's great. I like it. Then you repeat the same again. Yeah. Then you move Ah, The more you repeat that, that new behavior, then you see your life transform. Yeah. Along the yeah. way. Yeah. Action changes the mindset, actually. Mm. Yeah. All right. Action changes yeah. our mindset. Yeah. And we feel better. We think differently. We believe in ourselves after we realize actually we can do it. Mm. It actually it can be done. Correct. Yeah. Wow, this has been a fantastic conversation, Galen. Wow. Same to you too, Benedict. It was an interesting and 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 really meaningful conversation. Yeah. For yeah. our listeners. Yeah. Yeah. Very deep, and we really touch on a lot of even the, the the details about coaching also really went went down mm. yeah, yeah yeah right this has been great thank you so much thank Thanks you so, so much, much. Bandic. uh yeah i'll talk to you again then okay see you around next time